thank you all for joining the uh, psychology department webinar on the, your career prospect in psychology. Thank you all, uh, those who have joined from outside and as well as students of psychology department and the students from the other department as well. Okay, so to begin with, um, for today's agenda, this to, uh, the speakers would be myself, we have another speaker, uh, Wondang Lolota, a STEM professor from the psychology department, and we'll be hearing a word of, uh, from our students from Ruzo and Imli Bendla from second semester. Okay, so uh, here's to today's agenda. So in today's webinar, we'll be talking on the introduction. Uh, we'll be looking into the psychological psychology department initiatives, also uh, the psychology papers offered under Nagaland University and the career options as well as the career, career path and the diversity of professions and also uh, the students' experiential learning. And if you have any question or doubts to clarify, we'll have that session. Okay, so um, yeah, to begin with, let me introduce myself. Okay, uh, myself, I'm Dr. Nojinino. Currently, I'm taking the in charge of the psychology department uh, at Tetsu College. So yeah, once again, I welcome you all. Right, so you have all heard about uh, what psychology is, or maybe you have uh, get, you have already had a tidbit idea of what psychology is all about, right? So here uh, in today's webinar, we'll be looking into the definitions of psychology and the career paths, as well as the career prospects in India, as well as in Nagaland, and also which your career in psychology as a, psychology as a career, what options are there for you to take up, all right? So here, let's look into, let's start off by, off by asking a few questions to you, all right? So have you ever thought that uh, how individuals think or how their behavior changes with different situations? Or have you ever uh, thought that how someone finds it difficult to talk to strangers, maybe in your friend circles, or uh, whereas while some of your friends is a catwalk, right? And uh, do you think, do you, those would this word such as hallucinations, disorders, or the unconscious mind excite you? If so, if all these questions excite you, or if all these areas excite you, then you are in the right place here this afternoon, all right? And this afternoon, as mentioned earlier, we'll be walking through the career post prospect, what are the different branches of our psychology, and also the um, prof uh, different professions available in psychology, all right? So before we move on, uh, I would like to let us all engage ourselves in a, an icebreaker, all right? I, I want all of us to engage ourselves in an icebreaker. And I want, I, I'm, this icebreaker, I've, actually I find it quite interesting and I want to um, apply it on my students. So those, to, those students who have joined, you are already aware, you might be already aware of this icebreaker, but for those of you who have joined this afternoon, uh, let's all try this icebreaker, okay? So I want all of you to be, um, take part actively, all right? Here are three questions, first three questions I want to ask you all. You can write it down in, in a paper or you can um, think about it, all right? So I hope all of you are ready. Okay, here's my first question to you all, all right? What is your, don't answer it yet, okay, I'll ask you later on to write it in the chat box or you can use your microphone later on, just write it in a paper uh, aside or you, maybe you can uh, have a thought on it and later on I'll ask you, okay. So here I want all of you to think uh, what is your favorite color, all right, what is your favorite color, think about this, the third question, what is your favorite fruit, okay, and the third question is your favorite country. So these are the three questions. I repeat, your favorite color, your favorite fruit, and your favorite country. Okay, I assume all of you have thought of the answer. Okay, 
Now, here comes the tricky part. So, I want all of you to answer, but not yet, don't write it yet. Um, I want all of you to answer counting backward from 30 to 1. All right. So while you are counting 30 to 1 backwards, I want all of you to type in your answers in the chat box. Okay. I hope all of you can do this. So start now. Start counting 30 backward, 30 to 1. And okay, here goes your time. All right. Start counting 30, 29, 28, and so on. Name your favorite color in the chat box. Name your favorite color. Keep on counting at the same time, keep answering. Yes, I want some participations. Your favorite fruit. Your favorite fruit. Your favorite country. Your favorite country. Keep counting at the same time. Keep answering. Okay. Thank you. I'm getting a lot of uh, participation. Thank you all for your participation. All right. Okay. We'll come back to this later on as we move on. All right. Okay, so let's move on. I'll come back to this later. So the word psychology or the term psychology, okay, first appeared in around 1870s, okay? And uh, in India, the first department of psychology was established at Calcutta University in the year uh, around 1950. Okay, so this is a brief uh, history of the, uh, the term uh, when psychology was when psychology appeared and the the first department of psychology in India. All right, moving on. Okay, so psychology as a subject. Okay, so here's a brief definition on or an overview of what psychology is all about. Okay, or what kind of uh, psych what as a subject? What does psychology studies? So here. Psychology studies human behavior and mental processes from a diverse perspective, okay? And it also implies scientific methods to understand human perception, learning, emotions, and interaction to situations. So coming back to the icebreaker, which we have just played, a short game which we have just played. So while we were taking this um, activity, all right, counting backwards and then answering. Okay, you might have experienced a lot of other emotions, behaviors, or reactions, isn't it? Or the perception, your learning, your memory, isn't it? Like some of you, you might be thinking at the back of your mind, why why do we have to count backwards? Or you might be thinking, uh, your surroundings, your uh, your your surroundings, you, it might be distracting to you while you were answering. Have you encountered all this when you were taking this activity? Or was it a, a smooth flow? Did you experience any emotions, any reactions to the situations? Yes, some of you might say at the moment, no, okay? But this is a, a, a short icebreaker, okay, which will suit you best understand the subject of psychology. So in psychology, we'll be learning about your emotions, your, your reactions to the situations, your perception, or your understanding to the human behavior. And all these uh, methods applies scientific method all right and so psychology is an interdisciplinary disciple discipline sorry since it shares its boundaries with several other disciplines such as the social science the life science and also we'll be looking into the artificial intelligence all right 
I hope you are clear with psychology as a subject or what will you be dealing in psychology? Right. Okay, let's move on. Right, so let's take a brief overview of the different types of papers offered under Nalan University. Okay, so if you are going to bound a journey on this three year course on psychology, then you'll be uh, taking these papers in your three year journey. So you'll be covering your foundations of psychology, you'll be having practical, which is basically a psychological testing, and you have your educational psychology statistics in psychology, you have developmental psychology, you have counseling, you have organizational, as well as you have uh, psychological research and mental health and uh, some behavioral dysfunctions or psychopathology, you have social psychology, and you have human resource management, okay? So this, these are the major papers you will be dealing or you will be studying in this three-year course under the Nalan University. All right. Yeah, let's move on. Okay. Now, let's come back to the department initiatives. Okay. So, this is a quick overview of the department, psychology department, uh, which the department has conducted some programs and some uh, collaborations with other departments and also some contributions from the year 2020 to 2021. So in a short span of time, the psychology department, we have conducted a World Suicide Prevention Day. We have observed uh, in on the 10th September 2020, that was last year. And also we observed a World Algemeis Day on um, September, in the month of September, that also last year. And we had observed a World Mental Health Day, 10th September, in collaboration with the sociology department. And this year, we um, observed the Developmental Disability Month. And also we had a program on Embrace Your Differences. Uh, next slide, please. We have, um, we have the Embrace Your Differences in the month of April. And besides this, we have also the students participated by uh, contributing the articles, your reviews, and also interdepartment competition participate, participate, uh, sorry, participation and some external participations as well. So in a gist, this is the contribution or this is the initiatives what the de department has done so far from 2020 till date. And uh, moving forward, we have many uh, plans up on our sleeves, okay? We have many um, programs yet to be organized, and we have lots of things to do, okay? Both practical, or both internal, and both uh, external as well. Okay. Yeah, next slide. Right. So, this is a... That was a brief summary or a gist of what an overview of our department and what you'll be doing uh, once you take up psychology. Okay, and now the time will be given to our ma'am Wanda for uh, taking you through to the different branches of psychology, the career part, and also the uh, the uh, diverse profession uh, once you take up psychology as your career. Okay, over to you, Wanda. Thank you all. Um, thank you. Uh, I think I unshared my slide by mistake. I'll just uh, share it once more. Okay. Hi, everyone. So uh, I'm Wondang Lo. Uh, right now, I'm teaching at uh, Detso College in the psychology department. Um, so now that we are aware of what the subject psychology is and also the course program and uh, at Detso College and also the activities that has been conducted by the psychology department. Now uh, let's look into another reason why uh, you could uh, choose psychology as a major. And that is because of the very wide uh, career options that is that are available for you. 
okay, in this subject. Uh, but before we look into it, let us quickly look at the different subfields of psychology because uh, psychology is such a huge subject that it's only natural that they have uh, many distinct uh, branches that emerge out of it. So let us quickly look at the different uh, subfields of uh, psychology. So the first one we're going to talk about it, uh, talk about is uh, biopsychology. And um, basically, biopsychology is the relationship between the brain or uh, our biological processes and behavior. And when we look into social psychology, it's the study of how uh, the study of how people behave in groups. When we look at clinical psychology, uh, it studies and uh, it, it assesses and treat mental, emotional and behavior disorders, the study of assessment and treatment of emotional and mental behaviors disorders. And when we look into counseling psychology, uh, counseling psychology is the study of counseling services and psychotherapy to help people cope with problems and industrial psychology or also organizational psychology. That is the, um, the study of applying psychological research and principles to the workplace to improve productivity and quality of life. And also when we look into sports psychology, that is uh, the psychology we're in, uh, um, the psychologist works with the athletes on issues of anxiety, uh, fear of failure, focus, etc. Okay. Now, um, there's another subfield called uh, forensic psychology that is the relationship between uh, the study of the relationship between psychology and criminal justice, and uh, another called uh, engineering psychology that is the study of improving and adapting technology, equipment, and work environments to enhance human behavior and capabilities, and also educational psychology, which is the study of how uh, different variables influence individual students' outcome. Now, when we look into developmental psychology, uh, it is the study of uh, psychological development at uh, various life stages. Cognitive psychology, the study of human perception, thinking, and memory, and uh, experimental psychology, which is uh, a study of research that involves manipulating variables in a, a laboratory setting. Uh, so um, mm, let's look at how you can become a psychologist. Okay. So uh, Firstly, you would have had to have uh, studied uh, psychology in your tent or uh, in your tent after your tent plus two or after your tent, which is your 11th and 12th. But it's not necessary that you have to have taken this subject to do your BA. Okay, so um, again, to become a psychologist, uh, you can or you you have to have studied psychology in your 12th, or you need not also. Okay. Uh, but you have to have graduated uh, and obtained a degree in uh, psychology, uh, either with or without an honors. Okay, and if you want to, um, you can also get a postgraduate degree in a specific branch of psychology. And you can also look into further studies, which are uh, MPhil, PhD, and also PsyD. Okay, now uh, there are also multiple uh, optional uh, diploma courses that you can take in specialized areas. So um, uh, we are going to be looking in what different areas, careers you can choose after you have studied psychology. And uh, we are going to look at it in relationship uh, with uh, the different levels of degrees or studies you need to have taken in order to choose that career path, OK? So um, here. So um, with an associate degree, you can become a rehabilitation worker. You, with a master's degree, you can become a, a drug and alcohol specialist. You can, these are some of the more uh, conventional careers you can choose after taking psychology. Okay, now uh, with a PhD in psychology, you can become a professor. You can also become a researcher. Okay, now if you have taken um, a PsyD, you can become a psychotherapist. 
and you can work in the clinical setting. Now, uh, with a uh, bachelor's degree, you can. These are just a few of the examples. Okay, we are going to be uh, talking more about the different careers you can choose. Uh, so you can become a career counselor. These are uh, some of the more conventional uh, career paths you can choose uh, with a psychology degree. Now, uh, I just want to make this clear uh, when it comes to uh, becoming a psychiatrist or a neuropsychologist. A lot of people get confused between psychiatrists and uh, neuropsychologists. And the difference is that with a BA in psychology or a master's MA in psychology, you will not be uh, able to become a psychiatrist or a neuropsycho uh, neuropsychologist. Okay, so um, <clears throat> in order to become a psychiatrist, you will have to have uh, studied MBBS, have a medical degree, okay? Only then you can proceed to become a uh, psychiatrist. And even for neuropsychologists, you will have to have uh, done a BSc and an MSc in uh, neuro uh, neuropsychology in order to become a neuropsychologist. So these are a uh, few confusions that uh, people have very often. Uh, that is why we are... Uh, just clarifying that for you. Now, you, uh, these are some of the uh, more high paying jobs in psychology, okay? So, clinical psychologist and industrial or organizational psychologist, wherein you can work in hospitals, uh, you can work uh, in clinics, uh, you can work with um, different governmental organizations also, which we will get to later. And um, uh, when it comes to, again, industrial and organizational psychologists, you can work with uh, various organizations and uh, a lot of MNCs. They also hire psychologists. So these are a few options. Now, again, there are also this uh, aviation psychologists. For that, you will need to have an extra uh, uh, specialized diploma course or a certificate course in order to become an uh, aviation psychologist and also uh, consumer psychologist. These are other options for you. Again, forensic psychologist, as we have discussed earlier, uh, in order to become a forensic psychologist, you will need to have had uh, studied uh, BA or a master's in forensic psychology or, or should have taken a uh, diploma course in forensic psychology. Now, uh, you can also become a military psychologist. Uh, you can also become a military recruiter. For that, you need to have, uh, you need to have a BA. Uh, you need not have a, a specialized uh, course or diploma course in it. And also school psychologist, um, you, you can uh, take up counseling psychology and then become a school psychologist or you can take up uh, school psychologist as a degree or during your master's or uh, you can specialize in child psychology and then you can become a school psychologist. So these are the uh, lesser known um, uh, career paths you can choose with a psychology degree and that is uh, art therapy or art psychotherapy also. So for this, uh, again, after having done your master's, you can take up a diploma course in art therapy and you can work as an art therapist. You can also uh, open up your own uh, practice with an art uh, therapy uh, license, okay? Um, now you can also work with companies and become a, uh, with advertising uh, agencies and become a consumer psychologist. Uh, you can uh, uh, you can work as a counselor, and to work as a counselor, you need to have studied uh, counseling psychology during your master's, or you will need to have had taken uh, diploma courses in counseling. And uh, again, uh, we have already covered from forensic and uh, criminal psychologists. For that, you need to have a degree in this. Uh, you need to have a specialized degree during your master's or during your bachelor's in this specific field. And school psychologists and sports psychologists. Okay, so again, for sports psychologists, you need not have um, 
uh, you can do your bachelor's in uh, psychology and then uh, take a specialized course in uh, sports psychology during your master's or get a diploma. Um, <clears throat> so now uh, when we look uh, in the Indian and um, in the Nagaland context, uh, we know that uh, there are many uh, rehabilitation centers for uh, many different uh, um, issues such as uh, let's say drug abuse which is most commonly in Nagaland we have drug abuse alcohol abuse rehabilitation centers but these are not all okay so uh, the other rehab, rehab centers could be uh, rehab centers for people who have underground uh, mental trauma or who have uh, mental disabilities and are recovering from it or who have even gotten uh, let's say physical trauma and they are or uh, brain trauma and they are recovering from it okay or it can also be rehabilitation centers for uh, uh, persons who are differently abled or maybe people who have um, uh, speech and hearing issues okay so these are the different rehabilitation centers uh, that exist uh, so a clinical psychologist or a psychologist or even a uh, drug and al alcohol expert or uh, speech therapist they are all um, uh, they are all career paths you can choose uh, you can have a specialized course, you can take a specialized course in it and you can choose uh, to work in rehabilitation centers and hospitals. Um, uh, when it comes to hospitals, um, you can work as a clinical psychologist, you can work with a psychiatrist, or you can also work uh, as a counselor. So uh, in India, or oh, in Nagaland, uh, um, there uh, recently, I think there were uh, um, jobs for clinical psychologists that were advertised, and uh, it's uh, I think it's uh, no, it is under the uh, district mental health program under under the NHM. So um, clinical psychology jobs are available even in Nagaland, and um, there is always a need for counselors and. Uh, in hospitals, so uh, there are different uh, uh, health missions by the NHM in Nagaland also. So, um, uh, with uh, the AIDS program and the tobacco program, right? When all those programs, non communicable, uh, non communicable diseases programs, uh, under all of these, counselors are always required. Um, but as of now, the, most of these jobs are contractual, but uh, we just want to let you know that jobs are available now again uh, when it comes to psychological research centers you can always uh, work with uh, different insti research institutes and uh, some of it could be uh, the NIPSIT and NIMHANS and um, the Central Institute of Psychiatry at Ranchi a few examples okay EPAS all of that you can work as uh, research assistants, you can work as a psychologist, you can work as clinical psychologists, you can work as um, project managers for uh, the different programs that they have. Uh, as a uh, psychologist in these research centers. So now uh, uh, earlier we talked about uh, the advertising uh, industry, right? So um, as a consumer psychologist, you can uh, work in uh, the different uh, industries, even industries, okay, and uh, different organizations uh, as a consumer psychologist. And again, uh, teaching, uh, like me, you can always uh, complete your master's, you can, uh, you can have your net qualification done, you can have your PhD, and you can always teach as an assistant professor, or you can, um, you can, have, you can do your master's and get your BA if you want to work in a school hmm, as a teacher. And also the different uh, welfare organizations. Uh, so when we talk about uh, welfare organizations, uh, there are many uh, 
non-governmental, uh, non-profit welfare organizations, and also uh, organization in nexus with the government, uh, such as uh, the Child Welfare Committee, right, and uh, National Committee for Women. So, in these are all places where a uh, uh, role of a psychologist or clinical psychologists are needed. Now, again, uh, psychological assessment and testing. Uh, when it comes to psychological assessment and testing, you can always work with schools. Uh, you can work as a, a career counselor where you administer all these assessments, or you can work with hospitals. You can work with uh, trauma centers where uh, you uh, you can get um, after your master's, you can get, uh, again, more specialized uh, certificate courses in different uh, assessments or tests uh, available uh, that are used in those institutions. And you can work as a uh, psychologist in those centers. Now, again, uh, research establishments and uh, uh, developmental programs, these are also uh, for example, NIPSID, no? Oh, okay, NIPSID is the National Institute of Public Health Cooperation and Child Development. Okay, so there are always these uh, uh, establishments that uh, require uh, psychologists, uh, clinical psychologists. Now, we have talked about forensics and also universities and schools. Now, uh, child youth guidance centers, uh, these are the places which are always in need of a psychologist. Again, uh, if we talk about government ones, uh, like the CWCs and also uh, the juvenile detention centers, the observation homes, right? All of these places are, uh, there are always opportunities in those places. Okay, now um, factories and industries. Uh, so when we look into factories and industries, again, you can work as an industrial psychologist, you can work as a um, um, consumer psychologist, or also you can also have study, you can also study statistical psychology and using statistics and using research, uh, try to come to conclusions about certain trends. Okay, now uh, again with uh, you can always work in companies. They're always in need of uh, human uh, in the human resource department, right? And uh, in different services and in private practices. So um, when it comes to private practices uh, in India right now, in order to open your own uh, establishment, you would have to have an um, RCI registration, which is the uh, Rehabilitation Council of India. So right now, uh, <clears throat> this is the organ. Uh, this is the committee that's uh, handling uh, uh, licensure in uh, psychology jobs. Also, because uh, as of now, we do not have a, a psychological council, uh, psychology council. Uh, so um, again, uh, for opening a private practice. In order to have a license to open a private practice, you need to have uh, worked under a RCI registered uh, practitioner, or you need to have studied in a RCI registered uh, university for your higher studies. So what we're getting at is that uh, today, um, trained psychologists, they are sought after in all spheres of life and uh, job opportunities for psychology is endless, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and also because psychology is such a dy dynamic uh, discipline that it's always uh, broadening and it's always uh, it, and it shares so much boundary with so many different di disciplines that uh, with context, the subject is always ex expanding. Okay, and also, uh, therefore, the application of psychological uh, principles is so diverse, which is why it um, it is such a good uh, career path that you can choose because it's ever expanding. Um, okay, so um, uh, thank you. So this is it for my my bit. Uh, thank you for listening. Now we will have our. 
uh, students who are currently enrolled in our psychology program, uh, they will be sharing their experience of studying psychology here at Tetsu College. So we can take your time. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. I hope I'm audible. Yes, you are audible. I would like to take if I'm sorry, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Rizzo Krasi, and I'm currently pursuing my Bachelor in Psychology at the College in Mapura. So this afternoon, I would like to take a few minutes of your time to speak on psychology as a study and career. Or why should you take up psychology to build your career? Ms. Nujineno and Ms. Wonanglo has clearly explained to us about the history of psychology and the different career options psychology can present to us with. So I don't have much to say now, so I'll just keep my sharing brief with my um, experiential learning. So as for me being a psychology student here at Tetsu College, I came with many questions of my own, with so much curiosity and high expectation with the hope that this subject would answer to all my questions, my personal questions. And it was so fortunate for me to choose psychology because it not only began answering my questions, but I get to learn so many interesting things that broadened my mind and helped me see life in a new perspective even though most of the classes were online. But to be honest, it was kind of difficult. It was kind of hard at some point because we're the first batch of psychology at the so college. So we had no seniors to look up to. But thanks to our dedicated professors of psychology department, Ms. Nuzenino and Ms. Wondanglo, with their sincere effort, helped us through all our doubts and obstacles. I can't say much about my experiential learning, but all I can say is I have learned so much. I've explored myself and have inspired, and have inspired me so much. Well, actually, I've prepared so much, but um, Ms. Nujineno and Ms. Wondongo has covered all my topics, so it wouldn't be so interesting for me to repeat all those. So I'll just get to the end, end of my share. <clears throat> so for all the students joining Tetsu College still confused which subject to opt for, why not take up psychology? Why not explore yourself? through this subject. Why not learn while having fun through practicals and experiment? Join us in, join us along our journey to make this society a better place. Now I will give time to the next speaker in Libinla to share her thoughts on it. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Imitna, and I am from the Department of Psychology. So today I will be speaking a bit about my learning experience and on my personal growth through psychology as a subject. So first of all, uh, to speak a bit about my learning experience in psychology here in Tetsu, it has been very good so far. And through psychology, I got to like educate and learn better on different concepts and ideas. And also, as I went on learning the subject, I became more aware on, uh, on how there are like several disabilities and differences that exist within us and in fact in our society, which we sometimes like don't emphasize or speak enough on. So learning psychology has been in a way
learning apart from Am I audible, Miss? Yes, just for a moment, you got freeze, but now it's audible. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'll continue. Now, when I talk about learning apart from academic knowledge here in TESO, there are also like different webinars and events through which we get to understand better on different topics. And our psychology department have, have also held several webinars and events, like Miss has mentioned earlier. And what I really liked about these webinars was that it has contributed a lot towards my knowledge on topics which I was not properly aware of. And also at the same time, these events and webinars were very engaging and insightful. And also now moving on to when it comes to my personal growth through psychology, I think the subject has given me a lot of better insight on my own feelings and thoughts. And also moreover, I think I learned better, I learned to like, become more mindful and aware of topics like mental health or depression or a person's disabilities disorders and all that and it has in a way taught me on why it is important not to discriminate between people and also on reasons why we should be kind to everyone so to simply put it in a nutshell i think by studying the subject i got to learn something from it every day that i could put to use for myself and also to help contribute towards the society and all in all, taking, taking up psychology in Tetzel College has been a wonderful experience for me so far. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you, Wanda, Ruzu, and Inlibinda. All right, so now we have come to the end of our webinar. And the time is open for question and answer. If you have any queries or clarifications which you would like to put forward. You can unmute or you can use the chat box. Everyone's clear? No confusions? All right, so there seems, okay, no one seems to be confused and clear about what uh, the different branches as well as the different career paths. Okay, so with that note, I hope all of you, you had learned something and something new about psychology and has broadened your perspective. And yeah, if you have any doubts and you would like to clarify, you can always write back to us and uh, cl get clarified with your doubts. Okay, so yeah. We will end the webinar from here. And once again, thank you all. Uh, so much for joining us this afternoon and uh, with your presence here you have made this webinar a success thank you all have a good evening all of you